Anyway, talking about the state of Thailand before COVID happening or before this political crisis we are in, Thailand is already in somewhat of bad economy situation. A lot of people, if you look at the figure, if you look at the index, it might not look that way. But if you talk to a lot of people on the street, that's how they feel. And this article from the German publication, Deutsche Welle, Deutsche Welle or DW in short, it is a German public international broadcaster published an opinion piece on Thailand. It said pandemic and protest, Thailand's double whammy. And said Thailand needs structural reforms to avoid falling into the middle income trap. The article talks about how the growing civil unrest across Thailand could bring a big blow to the economy, which was already battered by the COVID-19 pandemic. The Thai economy saw its worst contraction in over two decades in the second quarter, shrinking by as much as 12.2 percent as the coronavirus outbreak battered the key drivers of trade and tourism. The International Monetary Fund, or IMF, expects the economy to contract by 7.1 percent this year, lagging behind most of the countries in Southeast Asia, despite having handled the COVID-19 relatively well. So experts say that Thailand must boost productivity, especially that of manufacturing firms and revive private investment. And if Thailand failed to do so, the country might fall into a middle income trap where the country is no longer poor, but does not see enough income and productivity growth to break into the group of rich countries. And that wraps up tonight's edition of Thai PBS World Tonight. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you tomorrow. Swadika. Swadika.